like that. Just regular sword man, spatial moves, gets gauge guards, stuff like that. But I think it's a particularly uh, interesting and smart pick because recently uh, Litany has been to America, uh, and uh, as he has um, he has told us, he had some rather close matches with uh, Zero's Diddy Kong. He said with Lucina when uh, uh, Zero tried Lucina against him, he, he absolutely destroyed. He said I couldn't do anything with Warrior. So be it a coincidence or uh, be it that Grail uh, heard the story. I think his new new main from like uh, new character from like two or three months is, is actually a great pick in this matchup. Yeah, I do agree. I do agree. And I wonder if uh, if uh, Grail win that uh, win that match if Gluto will stay on Wario off or if he will pick another ca character. Yeah, it's true because he has said that uh, it's a kind of character. I think uh, speaking about Lucina herself uh, that makes him lose hope in Warrior. He's saying that like, this matchup is it's not doable. Like I, I literally cannot do anything and he finishes everything. Definitely something to do with that, I guess, how good Zero is as a player. But uh, if he does lose, he might see like the old Falcon coming back up. Probably. All the Donkey Kong that he's working on yeah. with. We'll see, we'll see. But definitely the 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 Swarman chip is a really huge trouble for Gluto. Oh! Extremely good forward, so he's facing himself out of the range of neutral air. Oh, that's too bad, yeah. Could have saved him, yeah. He tried to fast forward and drift towards the bike, but perhaps he should have aimed for the bike right at the beginning. He wasn't expecting, I guess, to be just quite out of range of the edge. Yeah, I do agree. But the game is not done yet, definitely not done. And uh, we'll see what Drake can do. Seeing it, though, uh, in the situation we just saw, uh, and one of the reasons why Grail actually would rather play Lucina than Mass. <gasps> oh, why? Oh, My wow. God! Gluttony! That was amazing. Like, he already, yesterday in doubles, he was already so good with his upbeat games, like aiming for the trade so that he can get the spike hitbox of the multi, multi hit. But today, wow, it's so precise in singles when he can set up how he wants. Wow. <laughs> and the fourth hit Uncle Down just to catch him. That was just crazy edge guard by Glutoni. But now three stock to one. The wharf is on the desk. That's yeah. gonna be really, really, really hard now. <laughs> it, it's nearly easier for Glutoni to get the kill now than for Grail because uh, apart from the Noyal off stage, Grail will need a strong a strong hit on stage, like a smash attack. Oh on that just jump air dodge from the edge. Wow. Three stocks. One one opening, he was like, okay, let me just neutralize you. Okay, right. Glenny <laughs> is, <laughs> is asking for the bio or just cutting it out. And, no, okay. no, Grade is smart, thank you, so Grade. He's thinking about his stage first. Yeah, well, ah, uh, ah, ah. Ah, wow. No. The cloud? Oh, okay. Corin? The Corin, here we are. One. Another swordman chip. So the, the, the first swordman uh, that uh, Grail has indeed remained in this game, uh, but still after playing Bayonetta, he's current. He's picked her up for a couple of matchups, and uh, sometimes he, he switches between Lucina and Mars uh, and uh, Corin for said matchups like Ness and uh, Wario. So I'm not too surprised. Oh wow! Okay, some percent going. Oh my! Tries yes. to go for it. Yeah. And it is, it is true that current has very poor mobility, so <laughs> I'm not surprised he would try to go for extended full speed combos because he cannot drift too far away from uh, Wario in these situations. Mm. Definitely a matchup that uh, Glutani must not be super familiar with, but as we know, it doesn't mean much for a player of this caliber. But I feel like it's more Grail that is not used to the new Glutony, I'll be honest. Glutony improved a lot recently, like yeah. really a lot. And I feel it got, like Grail does not know, he does not know yet. I do I do appreciate the fact that he's not trying to go for his Bayonetta. Uh, because that's definitely a matchup that Glutony will know. Well, I won't say perfectly, but very well, because he gets to play with Griffiths rather often. So I, I'm, I'm thinking it's good. Okay, oh, the game very nice. I'm thinking it's good he has confidence in his other characters. But I hope he doesn't lose confidence altogether. Like, don't drop it. Okay, nice up there. Oh, nice covering the Don Air, actually. Very hard to have this warrior recovery on the bike. 
but finally finding that grab. Nothing much out of it. At least got the stage now, and he can push Grail off stage. Nice counter, but won't be enough. Yeah, even though this counter is extremely strong, you're not ready to kill someone on the sour spot. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow! Okay, get the back air, so no real follow up behind that. Nice back air from Grail, but just not quite enough. Grail got some trouble at catching those up airs. Could be the kill, but uh, could he be playing really well with those air dodge to avoid yeah. all of this? Very not good. this one, though! Again, through the immediate up air, not waiting for an air dodge, and this time, Lutani chose to just try and go right through it. Didn't work out. Nice. Uh oh, just over commit a little bit on the uh, side B lunge. Oh my! <gasps> yeah! I was like, will he go for a punish or will he go for a counter? But it was good for him that he didn't get hit by the sweet spot in that part. Got some trouble to edge guard uh, Corin though. Yeah, nice but the fart is gone, so if Drake doesn't get edge guarded or red, he can still take on some decent percent before losing his start. The bike is here, we might see an edge guard. Okay, very nice. They're extremely low uh, cooldown on this counter when you manage to trigger it. You have like one frame where you're vulnerable. So an extra big option. Oh, very nice. Didn't charge us as a neutral B though. Okay, pushing Grail away. Will it trap him? Will it trap him? Nope, nice side B. After the air dodge this time. Try to make. He made oh, okay, Donner. <laughs> Didn't finish the Donner, putting that forward tilt just right after, and it worked. It worked. Yeah, why, why does it work? Like, forward tilt is like 60 frames slow, and still hit. So I feel like Grail is doing a lot of those uh, air dodge from the ledge, but always trying to do another option afterwards. Nice, Ooh. just, yeah, a bit close to the top blast zone. And again, but, uh, what, uh, Lutani was just clutched the ice towards the right. I love the the way Drain played with the platform, actually. That was Maybe nice. it's... Uh-oh, we'll push him off stage. Try to go back in the center, but Grail ready to stop him. That's again that side B on the side yeah, platform and getting back on the center, but charging that B neutral. The WAF will seal it. Yeah, the other comment on that B neutral was really, really too much. Like, he was like, yeah, I hope you land in front of me, but he still had his double jump, so a very wild call. Vutani didn't answer it, just got a clean fart punish. Well, as clean as it gets for a fart. And we just uh, checked. So Grail in loose bracket, joining Griffith and all the others in that mud and the last path where all the corpse ends one by one. It always ends up this way, man, with Gluttony in the winner's side, always. being uh, one of the last Frenchies. But S speaking of Frenchies, we still have Neef against Mark Bree and Mana against Fatality.